Did you know that in Italy, we make the best 50 caliber slugs? <laughs> Don't make laugh. We make strongest in Polska. Ma che cazzo dici? What are they called? Devastators. Yours? 9 mm. Uh, 9 mm. Real bullets. Minor better. No, ne. Minor very, very better. Nie. Minor better. Guys. The boss is back. Let's get back to the kitchen. Good day, folks. Welcome back to my channel. And as always, thank you so much for watching. By the way, I apologize to all my Polish friends for my terrible Polish accent in the intro. I really hope I didn't offend anybody. So, last week I said that I'd continue uh, making videos with these Home Defense 24 ammunition. But, given the several requests that I got and could not ignore, I decided to go ahead and please you, the people. And so, ladies and gentlemen, today, here at Airgun Alley, we will put two heavyweights two of the world's leading metal plastic projectiles both european made both awesome i give you the polish 50 caliber devastators versus the italian 50 caliber real nine millimeter bullet slugs So I actually only have a few of the 9mm slugs left, uh, just enough for a few tests. Um, but I did a full review on them just a few weeks ago, so do go check it out uh, in case you missed it. And uh, should you be interested in them, uh, check out the links below. If you buy them on the Kododo website, uh, you get a 10% uh, discount using the Miami 10 promo code. And today we'll be shooting our ammo with this HDR50 or TR50. This is the 11 joules version that I got from Modern Combat Sports. Uh, once again, in the description below, you can find all the links to the gun as well as to the ammo. But again, we'll be shooting it with this TR50, HDR50, 11 joules version. As always, I'll be changing to a fresh CO2 cartridge uh, before every single test. Uh, today I'm using these Umarex 12 gram CO2 cartridges as Maestro Runa Rebel always teaches put some good good old lube oil on the seals um, I was saying I'm using these 12 gram CO2 cartridges uh, which have finally come become cheaper in the US uh, I like to use the same maker for both gun and cartridges uh, just because you'd imagine that they'd be the fit, best fit for each other. And just before we get to the action, and I promise we'll get to it right after this, my dear friends, allow me to present to you my very first brand deal, Aura, whom I really want to thank for sponsoring today's video. Did you know that cybercrime and identity theft are the fastest growing crimes in the US? That claim a victim every 14 seconds? 33% of Americans have fallen victim to identity theft, and credit card fraud is the most common kind of cybercrime. Most people don't even know they are victims of cybercrime until it's too late. This is why I'm so proud to bring to you the easy solution for a lasting peace of mind, Aura. Aura is a leading identity theft protection, fraud monitoring, VPN and password management, and an antivirus software all combined into a super easy to use app. Literally minutes after I signed up, I got an email from Aura telling me that they had already detected my email address and passwords in several dark web accounts and that they had automatically asked 23 data brokers to remove my personal information from their shady lists. 
Aura doesn't only scan the dark web for your emails and passwords, but it also monitors your social security number and it will send you fast alerts anytime any suspicious activity is encountered. So click on the Aura.com slash Airgun link below to get your 14 day free trial. Trust me, it's worth it. And before returning to our video, I just want to say thank you to Aura for partnering up with me. All right, guys, before getting to our chrono test, let's weigh these slugs very quick to calculate the joules power. So the nine millimeters weigh six grams, 0.39. So right under six and a half grams, six grams, 37. While the devastators should be a little lighter. Indeed they are, 471. 470, 469. All right, well, we had some definitely some decent speeds and look at that. Complete penetration, one, two, three, four, five. Did all six go through? Wow, this is very, very rare, guys. For a 50 caliber across a two and a half gallon plastic water jug uh, with an 11 joules gun, amazing. All right, some very similar speeds to the nine millimeters. So we have some complete penetration, but not as strong as the nine millimeters. Look at that. We only have one complete penetration versus the five or six of the nine millimeters. All right, up next we have the very, very hard Dominican Republic coconut which will shoot with the devastators and obviously guys don't forget to subscribe to the channel and while you're at it hit that like button will you All right, well look at that. Six shots with the Devastators. And we pretty much split the coconut open. And up next, let's try the coconut with our Cododo nine millimeter bullets. Well, definitely a little damage. But we will give this one to the Devastators for sure. All right, folks, final target. I'm down to my last six uh, nine millimeter slugs. So unfortunately, uh, we can't be shooting any more targets after this one. As you see, I've kind of created four quadrants. Uh, we'll be shooting the Devastators on this side and the nine millimeters on this side, and let's see what kind of damage they produce.
but one thing is for sure these were very powerful shots because this whole thing uh, kept on falling on the floor I had to tighten it a lot tighter than I had originally anyway let's have a look at these two groups here all right so we have definitely a larger entry wound if you will given that the bb's of the devastators are uh, definitely wider in diameter than the nine millimeter bullets let's have a look on the other side all right well as always guys i'm going to let the images speak um i would say that the Devastators probably went a bit deeper than the 9mm. Nine, nine uh, we'll talk about that in just a moment. Alright folks, here we are at our final conclusion. I'm very curious to know what you guys thought about uh, today's tests. Do let me know. Um, so, we have the Devastators and the 9mm. I was actually able to save these, this uh, bullet right here from uh, the ground. Uh, both of these are not very reusable. I mean, Occasionally, you'll find them still intact after, you know, shooting your target. Uh, but uh, most of the time, you know, the plastic casing breaks away. So anyway, these I was able to to save. You, generally, you'll just find the bullet alone with a uh, broken casing. Another cool thing, I just spoke to the maker uh, the other day, and he told me that he's actually working, or made, he actually already made these uh, at a 68 caliber version. So. He'll be sending them to me very shortly, very soon, and I uh, can't wait to check those out. So cool, huh? Uh, 68 caliber real bullet. So what did we learn uh, with today's tests? Um, well, if aerodynamics suggests that the 9mm sustain a better uh, flight, a better trajectory, obviously, uh, than the Devastators, that they are more round. Uh, these are obviously more aerodynamic. Uh, so again, they sustain a better flight. Uh, we also saw that the Devastators are probably stronger on impact for a knockout effect, while the 9mm uh, have a much uh, more penetrating property, I would say. So uh, as we saw in the water jug, for example, these penetrated uh, both sides of the uh, plastic uh, going through the water, while these, uh, well, the Devastators kind of did. Uh, but then we saw in the coconut how the Devastators completely obliterated it, while the 9mm definitely did some damage to it, but not, uh, you know, that kind of obliteration. So again, I would say the Devastators are really good for a uh, knockout effect, while the 9mm are more for penetration. Which one would I choose? Honestly, guys, I would get both, and I would alter them in a magazine, one in one, uh, just so you have the best uh, shot of each but again i'm very curious to know what you guys thought uh, about these and uh, once again all the links are in the description below and i want to thank you guys for watching my video today and for clicking that like button if you did indeed like the video and for subscribing to the channel if you haven't done so yet um, i have about uh, about a week and a half more in this house to before we move to the new house uh, which has a gorgeous gorgeous garden i cannot wait to be shooting from there the only thing is that we hope that the neighbors will be cool with it. We don't know that until I'll start shooting. So fingers crossed, guys. Uh, again, you'll see this environment a few more times before we switch to the new Airgun Alley Miami.